That looks nice. Hey guys, Kaylee here and welcome back to the Honeystead. Today is honey harvest day and my mom there, my dad back there. We are all gonna do hands on deck, pull honey supers and uh, do some honey harvest. So come on, let's go spin some honey. Yes. I need a place to put this. Right here. This should all be, yeah, this is all gonna be nice and capped. Good. So essentially all that we're doing is going hive by hive and we're only pulling out the frames that are completely drawn out, capped, and full of honey. We leave the ones that have brood in it. And the reason why, I've had a lot of people ask me, um, we don't use queen excluders. That's something that we chose not to do. We're not beekeepers for the honey. This is just a little bit of an extra bonus. We're more into beekeeping for the bees. So we don't limit our queen and we basically allow her to lay wherever she wants to lay and let the bees do what they're supposed to do. Today for the first time, we're actually using the hive butler system. And I wanna show you guys this because I think it's pretty interesting. So here's what's awesome, okay? These totes, this is from Hive Butler, an awesome family. I have this full of frames and I'll show you guys once we go to, to do the extracting process. The lid has a vent in it, um, but the bees, you know, yes, we pulled some honey frames. They are not getting to any of the honey, which is great because when we go to extract, I don't want a lot of bees flying around. The totes are slotted and they hold frames in it perfectly. So. There's no bashing around. They're potentially ruining the honey. Um, so I'm really excited to use these. Plus they have handles that I can easily pick up on. I'm really impressed with this. Definitely impressed with it. All right, we've already checked about four colonies, but we have quite a bit more. So going back to pulling frame by frame. So the plan is to get strictly capped frames, mainly because then you know that the moisture content is exactly where it needs to be. If they're not capped, the moisture content that's still in your uh, nectar-like, not all the way honey, um, could ferment your, your honey. We're pretty strict on getting capped, as much capped as possible. But this one looks not so bad. That one looks really good. Oh, this, a nice food source. She's got, look, she's got propolis on her. Yep. So her resin, I should say. She has harvested some resin on her leg and she's gonna go turn that into propolis. She probably got that from some type of tree sap that we have. Awesome, all right. Last one on this box and then we'll just leave it. Yeah, I don't wanna go down anymore. Nah, let them have it. I'm gonna need- I see the queen already. Pull that up on this side, pull. Yep. I figured easy, she'd walk easy. over there. there. She, she is. is. There she is. Oh, Big she's old so blonde with a tail bottom. Look at that honey she's on that. Too. All right, let me see on the other side. That looks like, is it all capped? It's all capped. No. Nope. Let them have it. Okay, so I need. All right, good. The queen's there, so be gentle with her. All right, I need two port. So here's our philosophy behind leaving frames that are. Um, that have brood in it or if they're still working in it. By us leaving the frames for them and not just harvesting all of it. You know, we could come in and we could harvest and oh my gosh, we would get hundreds of pounds. Um, but I don't want to have to feed, okay? I will feed if it's necessary, if it's needed, but I don't want to have to feed. And so by us not harvesting everything and leaving what they have, leaving the, the frames that have brood in it, that just makes me feel like that's an extra, extra buffer, you know, that allows them to actually have food storage. Not everybody has to keep bees the way we keep bees, but this is just what we do. Um, we want to grow bees. We want healthy bees and I don't want to have to feed. Now, I did have some people comment or ask about sugar. Um, yes, if we do feed, we do try to get organic sugar, uh, non-GMO, you know, that's kind of how, what we do, but it can get expensive. And obviously with everything kind of going on, I don't want to have to buy 
hundreds of pounds of sugar at a time. It's expensive and bees are already expensive. You know, yeah, we're gonna recoup a little bit and, and be able to, to sell some of the honey, but really so we're in it for growing bees, we're in it for raising healthy bees, and we're in it for, for repopulating our area um, and just keeping healthy bees. So I don't wanna have to feed if I don't have to. So that's why we do what we do. Okay, these totes definitely are awesome when, when you're going to move all the frames. I mean, there's handles, it's sealed. I'm not worrying about bees getting in so that when we take it to our extracting room, we don't have to worry. Um, yeah, I think, I think we're big fans of the, the hive butler. What do you think? I think we are. I think we are. We're I think, buying more. Yeah, that is a brilliant design. Um, it holds the frames, it's easy to carry, and this actually works as storage, and it is the uncapping tank. So that's what we're gonna work on. Now to uncap. All these bees, they just, they want that honey, but they don't, they can't get it. Perfect. See what time it is, about six minutes. It smells good. It smells like huh? liquid gold. It is liquid gold. <laughs> it smells like I've got something to now sweeten my coffee with. Yes. So our honey harvesting process has been a few days in the making and I can't tell you if I remember talking about this hive butler or not. The design is really smart. The fact that one we can use it for honey frame storage or frame storage period and two the fact that we can use it for an uncapping station and this frame is not moving all over the place. So if you look in here we have all the cappings that's down at the bottom. We're gonna render all of this capping down and this is what's gonna turn into our salves for our apothecary, hence the fact that we are a beekeeper's apothecary. We wanna honor the bees and use the products that we know that we could use and benefit. So this capping station is really nice because it has a plastic uh, bottom that I, is removable and I can actually, it keeps the capping from dropping into the honey. And if you look in here, it's two tubs. But essentially, both tubs could be storage. I have more honey that we have to uncap, so we got, we got a lot more to do. And another harvest. If you guys are interested in purchasing your own hive butler, I have a coupon code that I will put down below for you, as well as our Etsy shop for anyone who would like to support us and purchase some of our girls' honey. Mom and I have quite a bit to go with the overall honey harvest. When we're done, I'll give you guys a heads up on how much we were able to, to get off. That's always been a big question, is how much honey do you produce? So we'll make sure to share that with you. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old or sticky. <laughs> Bye guys.